Most of us spend so much time facing forward at desks, in chairs, and in cars that over time we tend to lose the ability to twist our bodies. The wash rag is a very natural and useful movement that will aid in keeping your spine flexible and your walking smooth. Lie on your back with your knees up and your feet planted near your hips. Bring both arms straight out from your shoulders like a T. Let your elbows be loose, don't lock them. This movement has two parts, so let's begin with the arms. Imagine that your arms are rolling pins. Begin by turning one palm up and the other palm down. Now go the other way. Keep this pattern going and begin to increase the rolling so that your palm, hand, and arm roll further each time. As you roll one arm up the mat while the other rolls down the mat, sense how the action of rolling the arms begins to move the shoulder. As you roll the arm up the mat, your shoulder presses down into the mat, and as you roll the arm down the mat, your shoulder presses up and forward. You're wringing out your shoulders like a wash rag. Allow your head to flop lazily toward the upturned arm. Now stop with your head facing the upturned arm and let's add the legs. Allow your legs to gently drop in the opposite direction to your head. Keep the feet apart and simply roll on the outsides of the feet as the knees drop over. Inhale and come on up to neutral and let's go to the other side. Sense the lengthening from the hips all the way up into the armpit along your body. Inhale and slowly bring your legs back up to neutral. Notice how the muscles contract in the center of your body to bring your legs up. The back drops to the mat. The abdominals tighten and the hips rotate back to neutral. Continue this slowly several more times. It's as if you're wringing out the center of your body like a wash rag. This movement reminds your brain and waist muscles that you can lengthen and twist safely. The pelvis goes one way and the shoulders go the other. This is what we do when we walk. Remember to go only as far as is comfortable. We're not stretching here but pandiculating, contracting first, then lengthening only as far as the brain will allow us to go. Each time you do this, pay attention to any tightness. The next time you get to that spot, go slower and make the movement smoother. See if you can't get a little bit more length. Finish up the one that you're on, straighten your legs down on the floor, and sense the changes in your body.